Where are you? Are you in front of the shelf? Gymnastics over here in the middle of Pulaski. This guy doing his workout on the day.
Well guys, we had to get out of there because that thing was pretty wild. It was just too too much too much things going on at the same time. Uh I didn't even feel comfortable. You know, it's kind of like um kind of like a parade, but a parade with like no rules, you know. There's just cars coming from different directions. I'm coming traffic, nobody's listening. They got fireworks. They got um there's kids there. Man, burnouts, you name it all. So, you know, it's already a danger zone, I guess. I know people do it to celebrate and stuff. So, who doesn't want to be out there and having fun, right? But it's just, you always got to be watching your back. And I don't know, you know, it's, I just, I had this feeling that, that I shouldn't be going. Because I had went last year and I didn't have a good uh, time because there was just so much things going on. And this year, I just didn't feel like going. Something was telling me not to go and we ended up going uh, i met up with a couple of the guys um i didn't really show you guys because it was too loud over there and i couldn't really walk up to nobody and show you guys uh it's not like you guys could, could hear them but as soon as we got there uh i don't know if my truck got mixed up with someone or what not but as soon as we got to where everybody was at somebody walked up to me and pulled out a, it was gonna pull out like i want to say it was a gun i didn't really look at him because i kind of took off and um they were confusing my truck with someone else's so that's actually how accidents happen because they be confusing you with other people you know we have nothing to do you know i just drove an hour out there to have a good time and people be confusing you and that's how innocent people get hurt you know so we were there out there kicking it you know seeing everybody pass by uh seeing all the cars and whatever you know it was, it was a good time but at the same time you know you always got to be alert you got to watch out because it is chicago and you know there's always going to be immature people there trying to do what they do and it's just being reckless you know so we actually got out of there because something happened and i'm just going to show you guys and i'm just going to say that we actually lucky that nobody got hurt but it could have been worse so i'm just going to show you guys this yeah so we made it back out here in town i'm with my boy walter you know i was out in medusa you know, I felt like it was like the most low-key vehicle. You know, it was like a couple people of us, you know, just minding our own business, having fun with everyone. Um, I didn't want to take something flashy because I like taking care of my stuff and I hate when stuff happens to it. So I felt like this one was like the good candidate. I should have just took the tow truck, but hey, we took this bad boy, you know. And, you know, my boy brought his car and uh, what happened, bro? You want to tell him or should we just show him? So you don't even want to talk about it, guys. But let me let me show you guys this. This 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 could have been someone. You know what I'm saying? This actually could have been someone. And like I said, we were just parked, minding our own business, just seeing you know, enjoying ourselves, enjoying our night. See anybody? You know, there's a lot of people around us. So let me just show you guys. So y'all see his car? This is the car that was parked literally by me actually he was parked next to me in the cut so it was not even in the middle but um we were standing there we actually seen a guy walk in front of us with a ski mask pulling out his gun so once we seen that we kind of uh were alert that something was going to happen and sure enough they start shooting so look what happened guys they hit the car one time And two times this bullet actually went through and what did it hit the steering wheel uh, the steering wheel oh yeah y'all can see right here let me see if i can uh, open the door and show you guys let me take the keys up oh my bad wall but so y'all can see it hit the steering wheel right here there's actually a big hole right there and then right here y'all see that big hole then it went back to right there now if you guys see that that could have been someone right there sitting which you did have somebody sitting with you right uh on the you, way back I'm on the way there oh okay regardless though you know that's somebody right there getting hit guys well could have you know if they were sitting nobody was in the car when this happened we were standing all outside so we were not aware until we heard the gunshots and we all just dug down and hid behind the truck. But like I said, this car was in the cut. 
we don't know if anybody got hurt we didn't see anybody or heard anybody getting hit but i mean we're happy that it was just the car and not one of us not saying that we had beef with anybody because that had no, that has nothing to do with us guys this beef had nothing to do with us this is just some like two guys there i guess they start shooting at each other that's what happened this one go through to the to the engine bay or what no it stopped right there in the light it stopped at the light look how big that hole is guys and somebody getting hit with that mm. how big this hole this one went all the way to the back seat ripped the steering wheel and all man sometimes it's not even worth it guys so probably my last time ever going out there even though you know it's a good time but it's not even worth it you can't even have fun and peace and did you know they were shooting no not so i thought it was fireworks I thought it was fireworks that's because there's a lot of fireworks going on and stuff so you don't even know what's going on you kind of got to be alert all the time you can't you don't even feel comfortable right i just sucks man because there's kids there i've seen kids babies all type of stuff there you don't even man it just sucks look at this like I said, man, better this car than someone getting hit. This is replaceable. You can fix it, you know. There's always got to be them people that be endangering people just because just whatever reason they got going on. They should have just boxed it out or something. Yeah, guys, just, just wanted to give you guys an update on what happened tonight. This car still looks good, though. You gotta get a light thing uh i don't know the steering wheel and uh the back seat you can probably just patch it or something man that sucks all right man well i think it's time to hit the road man let's go home go back to our loved ones and tomorrow will be a better day